Hey everyone, Mango7 Roll here. How we doing today? Welcome to another episode of Dislight. And today we have some maybe bad news. Uh, people are kind of up in arms about this. I figure I should cover it. Uh, one thing to note before we get into this, this was just posted on Reddit. I actually can't find any official sources posting this yet. And I believe this came from like a beta test server or something like that. Um, and people are taking it as 100% going to happen. Uh, so just letting y'all know that this is um, not 100% confirmed yet. So uh, maybe get up in arms if you want, but maybe don't, you know, uh, depending. Um, but let's talk about this. So uh, we all know that Kitty is pretty important in gacha games now. Maybe like five years ago when Epic 7 was coming out, uh, it wasn't really as mainstream. But I feel like every game kind of has a decently solid Pity now that's newer that comes out. Just because they kind of have to. Uh, because that's that's how people like their gacha games right now. Um, this game is another one. Again, I'm so sorry for saying this. Every time I bring this game up, I get uh, slapped in the face. But this game is based off of Summoner's War again. Uh, it has a lot of the same sets. They have the same slot for equipment. They have the same um, ability types. They have the same uh, attack formations. They have the same... Um, uh, system for upgrading. They have everything the same. It's most definitely uh, taken a lot of technology slash whatever from Summoner's War. And Summoner's War doesn't really have pity like this. So uh, not I'm I'm not saying that to justify. I'm just saying that to, to kind of get an idea of how their system is based. So Summoner's War is based on not everybody having everything, right? So uh, Epic 7, for example, is based on everybody having everything. This game and Summoner's War, not so much. So uh, perhaps that's kind of what they're trying to do here, although I don't agree with it. And again, just to be clear, I'm trying to put facts on each side. I'm not saying I agree or disagree with anything. Um, but as we can see here, it says the probability of Ollie is elevated to 10% after 350 spins. So, um, I don't know about you, uh, but I haven't had 350 spins since I started the game. Uh, not even close, actually. So, that is a ridiculous amount. That is a absolutely abysmally ridiculous amount. Um, and the thing is, after 350 spins, you're not even at pity. You're not even close. You're, you're far away. And then every 50 spins after, it increases to uh another 10 percent so at 400 pity or 400 spins you'll be at 20 percent uh 450 spins you'll be at 30 percent and then all the way up to 800 or 850 one of those two and you'll be at 100 percent chance to get ollie now uh you're not gonna hit 100 or you're not gonna hit that 800 850 spins unless you're the the unluckiest guy in the world but it's still a possibility and you also have to remember, pities like this are put into games because there was that one unluckiest guy in the world that took forever and spent, like, so much money and didn't hit pity in, like, Grand Blue Fantasy or something like that. Um, so this is bad news, is what I'm trying to get at here. This is not cool. I don't like this whatsoever. I said I wasn't going to give my opinions, but I don't like this whatsoever. Um, and I think it's the first bad thing that they've really pushed to us since the game release. And it's really a shame because... This game has had the most positive feedback I've ever seen from a gacha game. Everybody's loving it. Everybody was so hype about it. Everybody is just enjoying every little bit, even though the rates were pretty bad in this game. They're really, really trash, but that didn't really stop people, you know? Like, they were really bad, but people weren't super up in arms about it. Um, but now, this is pretty bad news. And one thing I, I, I'm not 100% sure on here, but... Uh, well, we'll go to that second one in a second, but it says probability of Ollie elevated to 10%. So I, I don't think that's 10% per pull either. I think that's when you hit pity, the 10% is there or something like that. Or when you get a legendary, you have 10% more chance to get them out of like whatever low percent it already was. So just really interesting to think about and really unfortunate to think about too. If we look at Epic 7's Pity, it's every 121 pulls, you get the unit guaranteed. Um, and there's no there's no accidental off banner units. Here, it's like quadruple that or more, and there's off banner units, and it's just it's just bad. And you can't get artifacts on the way either. So it feels atrocious, right? 
And the other thing too, we'll read into this here. It says, designated Esper chance up. During the event, you will have a better chance of getting the specified legendary Esper. Chance of getting this particular Esper out of all legendary Esper starts at 10%. So um, this looks like when you do a pull and hit a legendary, you're going to have a 10% chance of Osiris uh, or Ollie and 90% chance of any other legendary. 90% chance. So if you hit Pity, which is very likely with a low rates, you have a 90% chance to not get Ollie. That's insane. That's insane for a rate up banner. Um, and then after 350 spins, the chance of getting this particular Esper increases by 10%. So after three pities approximately, you have a 20% chance to get Ollie and an 80% chance to not get Ollie. And this event ends the moment you get the designated legendary Esper. Um, also to note, there are spin rewards as well right here. So this is pretty atrocious news. This is the first bad publicity I think this game has had. And I really think uh, this is not official yet because I can't I can't find it anywhere. I checked their Discord. I checked their Facebook. I checked their Twitter. I checked their Instagram. I checked everything, their main site. And I can't find this anywhere. So this is most definitely from some sort of beta server that they're testing on. So again, um, I guess this is where we make our voice heard, you know, uh, I'm not sure. Because this is just not acceptable, I think. Uh, if they want to design the game where not everybody has every unit, maybe this is the way to go. But that's not what people like, you know? Like, people people don't enjoy that anymore. Um, as an old school gacha gamer, I really do enjoy that. But people don't, in general. Like, the vast majority don't like it. Because they like getting their favorite unit. That's their favorite part about games like this, right? Um, so this is bad. Uh, this is, this is very, very bad. And I'm, I'm kind of concerned, uh, because every time I look at it, I'm like, wow, that's worse than I thought. Uh, because I've, I've probably got enough for two pities so far, not even two pities, maybe like one and a half pities so far since I started playing the game. And that's with every free reward they've given me, every mission that I can't do anymore, every achievement that I can't do anymore, every first time bonus that I can't do anymore. That is maybe 200 spins, maybe 200 spins. Um, and assuming I saved up from the start of the game, the start of the game, I'd have 200 spins towards Ollie, which would mean I'd hit pity once and I would have a 10% chance to get him. And then I wouldn't even hit the second pity. And if I did hit the second pity, I'd still only have that 10% chance. Um, I would need another 200 ish maybe maybe 150 more pulls to get that extra 10% and then I'd still only have a 20% chance to get Ollie. Not good team, not good. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. And if you're looking to start Dislight, which I don't blame you, it's still a fantastic game. Don't get me wrong. This is just one particular thing that uh, people are upset about. Everything else is fantastic, which is why this surprises me so much. Use Bluestacks 5 in the link description down there below because you know, if this is as bad as it looks, and you really want Ollie, you're going to have to re-roll for him. So what better way than to use blue stacks and uh, re-roll that way. So thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe as always. And I'll have a... Wait, no. I'll have a wonderful day? Yeah! Screw you guys. I'll have a wonderful day today. Bye!